Hi, it's Baldy here. Yeah. Well, at least it's not out here. I just hated that. Anyway, don't know what to call this, but what it's about is our Thailand bars and restaurants too, as well. And I hasten to add, I don't know anything. This is just my view on things. We're obviously here, us far Farang that are left, we're obviously here gagging for when we can go down the the pub for a beer and that's speaking for someone here that now doesn't hardly drink but we're all gagging for that moment but I don't think it's going to come for a long time. I think it could be months away. You have to say why open them at all <laughs> at least in this time because for a start Thai people don't use those kind of bars. They hardly use bars at all in my humble view from what little I know about Thai people. It's all us Westerners that um, do that kind of thing and there are very few of us left in town so if you did open all the bars tomorrow there wouldn't be enough of us to go around to make it a viable proposition anyway and um, which brings me on to my next thought and that is are those bars or the vast majority of them going to be able to reopen because the vast majority of those bars, I would think, are not owned by the people that run them. They're leased. Especially all those bars down Soy Bangla that are now done up tighter than ticks on a dog. All those bars, none of them are owned. They're all leased at very exorbitant rents too. They have to really run at a very high occupancy level just to pay for their rental. And it's quite noticeable that when they do really well, the landlords put the rents up. So many people have fallen foul in the past of having the brilliant idea, oh, I'm going to open a bar in Thailand. I'll just get a friendly Thai girl or a... Um, even worse, go into a consortium with some unknown Thai men and open a bar and I'll be a millionaire in a, in a year. Wrong. My next door neighbour here made that mistake and went broke. And so it's not a good business proposition. But now all those people have signed up whatever they signed up to and they haven't got any customers anymore they haven't had any customers for over a month now and I can't see them opening the bars anytime soon anyway so they're not going to have any customers for let's say they open the bars in a month I don't think they'll do that but they sure as hell aren't going to open their borders in a month and without the borders being open there won't be any holiday makers to to go into the bars. So it could be months away and I'm sure their rental bills are going to keep coming in. So I'm thinking that the vast majority of them are going to be bankrupt and so they'll never open again. The answer to that I suppose is they'll, when the crisis is passed, they'll just get another load of suckers to come in and reopen the premises. Anyway, that is my opinion, and it may be completely wrong, I don't know, but that's it for what it's worth. So I'm not looking forward any time soon to going down the pub. My only wish now is that the convenience stores start selling beer again, because again, although I drink very sparingly now, once I couldn't get it, I really fancied a beer.
and I managed to get some from a friend. And it's all out there now. Now I've got it in the house. I don't want to drink it anymore. It's funny. At least I can say, screw you, I've got my beer. Now I don't want to drink it. Now I've got it. So I suppose it was a useful exercise worth while spending a few baht on. But that's the, that's the way the human mind works. Well, if you can call my mind human, that's the way it works. Lucky for me, it does work like that. Otherwise, I'd be laying drunk on the floor after having drunk a shed load of beer. Anyway, when are the bars going to reopen? I don't know. But I think not for a hell of a long time. So that's the situation here in Thailand right now. Cheers.